your San Jose News Channel, and I'm left over. What a wonderful night we had last night. It was election night. I know that you all did your part to help us out and give us some numbers to read. It was a terrific evening with 99% of the precincts reporting in. Now it's still Arlo Smith, and a historic evening all the way around. We're going to have all the results for you tonight at 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock and 11 o'clock, and then we'll all be up on everything. I'm still waiting for the numbers to, to finally, finally come in. Maybe Tom McEnery can clue us in on uh, some things he's learned, but maybe he won't. <laughs> he says, who's Arlo Smith? Isn't this going to be interesting, though? Northern Californians in statewide races. Wow, what a novelty. Huh? <laughs> We're here this morning because of other history-making things. We're here to dedicate this beautiful new build, new, new old building, Fixer Upper 1719. But it's, a, it's an old building, but that has been lovingly restored by your San Jose Rotary, and it is a wonderful addition to our San Jose Historical Museum. You're going to learn some more about it today, and you're going to get to take a tour. I just got a peek inside, and it is gorgeous. Let us uh, begin by having an invocation, and to give that this morning, I welcome Art Demang. He's a minister of the First Congregational Church in San Jose, and also a member of the Rotary Club. Would you please join with me in prayer? Almighty God, we ask that you bless this house. Already rich in history, may it also serve a wealth of good. May courage and humor fill its walls. Dignity and risk abound in its halls. Help us, God, to use this house for the good of our community, for the increase of humanity, for the best we know of Rotary. Amen. Thank you, Art. Very lovely words. I tried to ask Dick Polacco about this house a little bit, and uh, here's what he told me. This is before I did my own research. I said, Dick, how old is this house? How long has it been here? Dick said, it's been here a long time. I said, thank you, Dick. <laughs> and then I said, Dick, why did you lovely Rotarians decide to restore this house? Dick, because it's nice. And so it is, and you're going to see how nice it is in just a moment. Would you please join me in welcoming Superior Court Judge John Wall. He will acknowledge all of those who made this project possible. Thank you very much. My capacity as the current president of the Rotary Club of San Jose is to certainly indicate to you all some of the principal players in the restoration and the dedication of this beautiful home. It would be impossible for me to thank each and every one because the 450 men and women of the Rotary Club are the ones that are responsible for the building that you see before you. However, there are certain individuals that played such a key role that they've asked me to publicly acknowledge them at this time. Now, I think the father of the project has to be recognized as our very own member, Pierre Protus, who is the architect that first envisioned this, as you see before you, a restored building to house our Rotary Club. And it was his vision that brought the matter to our club. From there, we had two very dedicated individuals of our club, Ernie Renzel and Glenn George, that set about the task of raising the funds and obtaining the donations which made it all possible. From there, we went to the contractor, Mr. Dave Sheets, who put more of his lifeblood than any contractor could be expected to do in terms of his dedication to this project. Finally, we had the landscape architect, Mr. Jay Beals, who designed the exterior, 
And certainly last and not least, since as short a period of time as a week or two ago, we were nothing but bare dirt out here. We had the landscape contractor, Mike Walsh, that contributed his efforts to finish off the project in time for today's dedication. But what you see before you is a culmination of a great many very dedicated, generous individuals that are very pleased to have been able to make this significant contribution to the community. And in behalf of the Rotary Club of San Jose, I certainly welcome each and every one of you here today. Thank you so much. Thank you. We started talking about history today. Of course, the very reason we are here to continue appreciating our own history, we've had a historical week with the visit of the Soviet President Gorbachev. As we talked about lightly a moment or two ago, uh, Northern Californians in the statewide races, a woman for the first time running from a major party for governor of California. And one other historical note this week, Tom McHenry was not running for office. And I would like you to welcome that man warmly this morning, our mayor, Thomas McHenry. No, I was not, and it sure felt good. <laughs> you know, it's so nice and cool up here. I, I, I was going to give a short speech, but we're all so comfortable up here. I just think I'll, I'll give one of my longer speeches that I hoped uh, to have a chance to deliver sometime. It's really very, very nice to be here, and it's nice to look around and see so many friends and so many individuals who have contributed so significantly, uh, not only to the history of San Jose, but uh, to the remembering of the history of San Jose. I'd like to particularly uh, single out my friend on the council, Judy Stabile, who is out there in the back, who has really had a single-minded attention to preserving all parts of the history of San Jose and really is uh, quite a trustee on the council. So, Judy, I'd like to acknowledge you. And at the same time, acknowledge our excellent city manager, who's seated, seated in the hot sun over there, Les White. Les, fun to see that. Pretty comfortable there, Les? <laughs> Les is ever the diplomat, he said. Talk as long as you want, Tom. Uh, the first thing I would like to do is present a, a proclamation, Judge, if you would come forward. And this is a, a proclamation to be given, uh, it's a welcome to Rotary Club Day. It's the, uh, to be given in really in a, a commendation for the tremendous accomplishments of the Rotary Club in many areas and many endeavors, and uh, particularly to thank them for this tremendous uh, gift they've given to the citizens of San Jose here at the Gordon House. So uh, thank you, Judge. And thank you very much. We certainly appreciate it. So the clock is on. And now, and now the speech. You know, originally uh, this wasn't going to be a, a house uh, dedication to Mr. Gordon. Uh, John Popovich and I had talked some time ago, and it was my idea to build a statue to Mr. Gordon. <laughs> John said that that just wouldn't be that good of an idea. He said, why don't you put up a statue of Captain Fallon? That'll go along very smoothly. We all know why John is no longer in city employment. <laughs> But, you know, it, it's uh, an old Irish saying, and I think some of you may have heard it. Uh, it goes something like this. I don't really advocate it, but uh, I just want to mention it today. It says, uh, the hell with the future, let's get on with the past. <laughs> and if you'll, if you'll think about that, I think there's some importance to that. You know, we all get a lot of humor occasionally out of our history. Uh, that's, I think, very much what human endeavor is. There's very, very often mistakes. But there's also a great many other things that we should always remember. We have to always remember that we really stand on the shoulders of men and women who have made tremendous contributions to our community. And we can have a little humor with it, but it's incredibly important that we remember our past. Not just the good things in our past, not just the people that have totally unblemished records, but the totality of our past, what it means, and how we arrived at the juncture we are. You know, those who forget the future uh, and forget to remember about what the future can bring to you, I think are people that don't know anything about the past. So as we stand here at this very beautiful day, uh, dedicating the Gordon House as it joins the rest of the historical museum, I think it's important that we note that we really do stand on the shoulders of giants who came to this valley, who made tremendous contributions, 
who have passed on a better quality of life to their children than they enjoyed. And that really has been the story of San Jose. And it's so really uh, very exciting to see this park come alive here. I mean, this is really one of the significant museums, cultural resources, educational resources anywhere in California. And I want to congratulate all of those who have worked on it. We're going to have many other exciting days here at the San Jose Historical Museum. And the addition of the Gordon House, I think, really is a very special day. So thank you and congratulations, and uh, let's get on with the past. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I mean, it's, it's hard to realize a scant six more months of the McHenry wit and wisdom will have to get you out much more often before we lose that. We're going to be speaking much more rapidly now because as I'm talking to you, bees are gathering at these lovely potted plants. <laughs> so without further ado, please welcome Bob Overstreet. He is the director of the Recreation, Parks, and Community Services Department. Bob. Thanks, Maggie. I've never been called a bee before. You know, this really does uh, begin a new era for, um, for the museum, and on behalf of uh, the city of San Jose, and in particular uh, the Department of Recreation, Parks, and Community Services, the Historic Museum uh, staff, and on, I think on behalf of our great partner, the Museum Association, uh, we want to welcome the Rotary Club as uh, new tenants in what we believe will be uh, a trend toward more and more of a real living history opportunity for the city of San Jose. Bringing in an organization like the Rotary Club will allow us to have people who actually own and belong to the museum grounds in a way that will make this truly a living program. The, the onset of this, uh, some, uh, seems like eons ago, Barney, uh, reminds me that uh, a lot probably hasn't changed and won't change with regard to uh, the way that we uh, deal with the Rotary Club. We started with Barney Watson and Al Rufo uh, bending our arms and forcing us into positions that we really didn't believe that we could be in. And now they've given us John Popovich to work with. And I'm not sure where that'll lead, but I have a real good idea. Uh, we, we really have uh, enjoyed the relationship uh, with the Rotary Club organization and the members of the Rotary Club that have worked hard to bring this about and look forward to many continued years. The, uh, uh, a particular note, I think, is recognition of the, the role that the Museum Association played in this. They were able to, in one month, obtain this house and move it on site. And that was key to being able to live up to our end of the agreement with the Rotary Club. I'd like uh, is Kathy Mueller in the audience somewhere? Where's Kathy? Not uh, here. Kathy is the executive director for the association. Patty McDonald, the president, is up here with us. I really think that a round of applause is due them. They've done a great job. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention uh, my own staff because uh, probably. Uh, the new name for the individual I'm going to introduce you to is, is Miss Tenacity. If it wasn't for the tenacity of Mignon Gibson and her staff, I can guarantee you that this would not occur. Mignon? Uh, just in closing, again, uh, thank you all for being here. Come back soon. Uh, we, uh, we're moving in the, uh, the Optimist and the Lions Club <laughs> next month. <laughs> Uh, and we look forward to seeing you there. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bob. A special added treat, I don't know if you could see it, but one of our historical vehicles was being rolled backwards. I'm just kidding, it's a little car problem just happening behind you. I thought maybe it was a new trolley that nobody had told me about. We do have another surprise for you, and that is the fact that we have nearly 20 members of the Gordon family with us today. Now, would some or all of them kind of wave or give us a clue as to where you are? So, hi, well, welcome. We're delighted to have you to the beautiful house, and thank you very, very much. And from the Gordon family, would you please welcome to say a few words the great grandson of Hanford, Lennox Gordon himself, Bruce Gordon. Bruce. Thank you all very much. Um, I'm honored, and I'd like to speak on behalf of my entire family when I say you honor us all uh, beyond our imaginations with this distinguished group of guests. Uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, Judge Ball, uh, all of you out there, um, 
By preserving the Gordon House, you've not only done a service to my family, to my children, and to my children's children, but I think you've also given San Jose a little bit of the history it needs to preserve as well. Um, after reading yesterday's article in San Jose Mercury about my great-grandfather, I'm not going to extol any more on his virtue. <laughs> but I would like to say, uh, sincerely, thank you very much to my entire family. And we'd like to present um, the Rotarians and the House uh, with a uh, portrait I have of my great-grandfather, Hanford Lennox Gordon. Alicia and Natasha, maybe you could help me? Uh, Judge Ball. Again, on behalf of the entire Gordon family, thank you very much. that it will be hung with great reverence and honor. And thank you so very much, Bruce. Thank you, Bruce, and thank you to the entire Gordon family. If I might ask uh, the following people to step up here, we will do the official ribbon cutting for the Gordon House and new offices of the San Jose Rotary. Mayor McHenry, would you step forward? Also, Judge Ball, Mignon Gibson, and Bob Overstreet. And Natasha and Jen, uh, why don't you come on up? We're all going to cut the ribbon. who are gathered here on the porch are now going to step aside so you can come up and enjoy the shade and the house. It will be open for viewing. Please stay and enjoy the rest of our lovely historical museum. Get a trolley ride. A little ice cream at O'Brien sounds pretty good. So please come on up and enjoy. Thanks so much.